So this is how we set our Border Collie puppy's ears. Number one, you need a puppy. So here we have our puppy, she's 10 weeks old. Her name is Tesla. Number two, you need tear mender glue, or tear mender glue. As seen here, you can get it on Amazon. Number three, you need a puppy wrangler who loves puppies. Clearly, this one loves puppies. And you can see she is holding the puppy's nose and you want to make sure that you wipe out the ears really well with cotton balls and alcohol that was already done this puppy was fully bathed before we did this as well and her ears were cleaned and you're going to bring the ears together as you can see in the middle of the head and you're going to glue the two inner corners to each other and i like to apply glue and then rub it in and then i actually twist the hair in that area together and I'm just doing it really close to the base of the head. I'm not trying to stick the hair on top of the head into this. It's just the base ear hair on the ears, on the inner corners of the ears. See? Now the ears are nicely on top of the head. And now I'm going to add a little bit of extra glue on the front side. I'm just checking my watch. My phone is ringing there. And I'm going to add some glue on the front. And then I'm going to pull the ears kind of forward. And I'm going to clear it up and add a little dab on the back. And I find this works a lot better than the yarn method. Um, just because I find mine, when there's yarn in there, um, you've probably seen that method. My other puppies and the litter mates and other dogs tend to grab onto the yarn thinking it's some kind of toy. So now we add some more glue on the tip of the ear. A little pet there. And then we're going to add a good amount of glue at the base of the ear. You want to make sure that you're not gluing the hair from the head into the ear because otherwise that's going to stop the ears from being mobile. And we don't want that. We want the puppy to be comfortable without any tugging. Then I put a whole row on the whole inside um, edge of the ear because I really want this to stay. Um, if done correctly, it'll stay in for a month or two from one gluing session. So you can see I'm... Um, Adding a little more on the tip too, make sure it stays. Got the puppy, puppy wranglers hard at work. And you're gonna glue it to the inside edge of the ear. There you go. And then we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other ear again. We're gonna add some glue on the tip. We, we, I always put a little bit extra on the tip and on the base. A little bit of a puppy Trying to escape there. And again, the base, I'm adding a little more. You can see it's down the whole inside line or inside edge of the ear. More on the base again. Make sure it's up. And I'm going to push that down firmly. It dries within seconds. And this type of glue is, is a rubbery type glue. So it's very flexible. So it doesn't cause any harm or pain to the puppy the puppies take to it really well and i like to just make sure there's no ear um hair um or rather head hair caught in the glue and you want to make sure that the ear canal is open so they can hear and it's not uncomfortable and here you can see this puppy when she was put down on the floor this is her immediate reaction she has never had this done before and she's clearly completely unbothered which means that we probably you know didn't catch any hair in there that we didn't want to. And we do re-glue this and keep it glued till about seven months. And this is quite easy to remove using a product like Unisolf. Uh, this is what we use. It comes with either in, in either a liquid form or little wipes. You have to be persistent and it takes a little bit of time, but it does remove it easily. And then we like to use a fine tooth comb to comb out the bigger chunks. And then we finish off by washing it out with dish soap and then going with a good conditioner, getting the ear nice and dry, wiping out with alcohol wipes and then re-gluing the ears if need be. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know. 
If there are any other topics that you might have an interest in, also drop me a line. I'm sure there are others that have the exact same questions as you, and we are happy to help where we can. Stay safe.